Not every high is a good high. Sometimes there are bad highs. Do you have a horror high story, a bad experience while you were high? Hey, you. Take us back to that moment. Man, my stupid ass. Go to the goddamn, we're going to news show. As a matter of fact, one news show. Goddamn niggas around me, they got down popping Percocet. I ain't never really popped no Percocet. Even down, I ain't really know that though. They just think niggas be popping them motherfuckers. I don't want, I ain't really into all that. You feel mm. me? I like smoking weed. So I see all these niggas. So I say, goddamn, they say, here, twin shit. Well, I'm caught up in the moment. You know, now I mean, I'm with the bro. I pop that motherfucker. Go in the club. I forgot I popped that motherfucker. I go in the club and, like, now I mean, I mean, I get drink some Hennessy. Why the fuck? Why, why I do that? Man, listen, man. I don't even want to tell y'all that shit. so crazy. <laughs> man, now nah, for real, boy, I'm in that motherfucker head spinning like, like, on to my, I couldn't even, like, I don't even, my head spinning just for thinking about it right now. Like, mm. I'm like, no, sir, this is not me. No, sir. Bad no. trip. No, this is not me right here, boy. And you were smoking also that day, yeah, too, and right? and I was smoking. So you're on marijuana, you're on a perk, and you drank some Hennessy. Facts. And I was on to my... Down there about to shit on myself in that motherfucker, but on to my... No, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, yeah, my head hurt, my stomach hurt. Mm. I can barely... I can't see shit because all these light flashing. So I'm really just stuck. I'm scared to move because I don't want to fall. All the tension on the stage. So I'm really like, man, what the fuck? So I had to sit right there and suffer that shit to knew the guy finna perform and walked out. And I had to play it all cool, walk out like I ain't just fucked up. <laughs> man, my, my goddamn mind, man. That was the last time you messed man, with Percocet? That was the first and the only time. Now, okay, when you are under the influence, there's a moment where you crave something to eat. People refer to that as the munchies. Now, whether you can have it at that moment of time or not, what's usually at the top of your list when yeah. you're craving something to eat under the influence? Food or snacks? Yeah, either or, whatever you want to share with us. Snacks, I go get me a mango snapple tea with the big bag of wavy barbecue chips. And food, shit, I'm gonna eat whatever I, what I'm in, I'm in the mood for. But lately, I've been in, I ain't got damn my boy, uh, Chef Kodak, man. He got, he got a little spot at uh, Joe's on Gresham. Mm. Man, that nigga can cook his ass out, boy. I don't know what the hell them, his, his hand made out of or something, but homie got down, homie throwing it down. Shout out to that boy, Chef Kodak, boy. That boy be cooking, boy. What do you order? Shrimp, grits. See, me, when I go to him, he cook everything. But I, I go for the breakfast, you feel me? Shrimp, shrimp and grits. Make sure you put the cheese on the grits. That's what I be telling him. I be like, bro, don't forget to put the cheese on the grits, you feel me? Cheese, toast, with the sausage, you feel me? 